Ladies and gentlemen in the house tonight, the one and only yes. boys that your mother loves to hate. <laughs> I'm talking, of course, the fun cause. <laughs> the fun cause. And your sister loves to love. <laughs> loves to love. How you doing, boys? Very good, good hell. Man. Terrible. Dog, man. Terrible. <laughs> no, actually, yeah, I, I feel like shit. <laughs> I don't know what everyone's lying about. It. <laughs> yeah. Really. Well, like I said, when you stepped in, man, it's like you look like death warmed up. Like. Ooh. Death was actually hanging out with us last night, man. <laughs> He's not as bad as you make him out to be, man. <laughs> That's what I wanted to ask. I wanted to talk about this tour, the Unified Tour. Yep. Uh, you've had two shows already. Yep. Yeah. Canberra and Wollongong. Yeah. Yes. How'd those go? Awesome. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. Hans is actually two for two. Yeah, yeah, I'm two for two at this no, point. No, three for three. Three for three if, three you, for three. Adelaide, if yeah. you count the pre-tour um, efforts. <laughs> so, uh, who, whose idea to put this all together? Like, you know, Bliss and Esso, you guys, Winnie Cooper and... True Life. True Life. Some genius. Yep. Some, Some sort of genius. genius. I think yeah. Death had a hand in it somewhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know, it was crazy, man. I don't know who did so that. So you just got the call and said, we want you guys to tour with these boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you said, yep. No, yeah. no, no, we said, how much? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Yep. No, and sure. then you I, went, I, oh, okay, um, let me think about it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. sure. Why not? Yeah, we made sure that the rider was right, like the drinks, the white socks, the chicken. That's it. That's what I wanted to ask. Like, Etc. The take, take, me, take me through a Funko's rider, like a typical rider that you demand that... Oh, you step behind, you know, backstage, you're like, <laughs> what the hell? Fucking black m and not in there? Like, Hans, really- Hans wants salt and midriffs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our rider looks uh, suspiciously like Bliss and Esso. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of got their name on it as well. <laughs> that's, how mu- that's how much it looks like theirs. They keep misspelling funk horns, right? <laughs> You'd be mistaken yeah. to think it's theirs, but it's, it's a- actual, in fact, ours. Do you have an actual list, or are you just like... Nah. No. Nah, 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 We're nah. grateful for yeah. whatever we get. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy to have a bit of water to go on stage with, and a, you know, a handshake. Yeah. A handshake and a, and, a, and, a, and a firm hello. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me... Who's been getting the loudest reaction on tour? Be honest, man. Mm. Hans after the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hans has been getting some pretty loud reactions, man. Three for three. <laughs> There's something about claps there. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> that was many moons ago. <laughs> hey, wifey, I got a gift for you. I brought it home. <laughs> I wrapped it up. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you, do you know who? Like... Uh, or was it being pretty even? Like, yeah. well, we only had two shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's been it's been pretty good. Obviously, you know, listeners so again, they get the killer time slots. So when everyone's yeah. real stupid, they get drunk and happy. They get the cool shit. But mm. you know, we do what we do. It's been really good for us too. Yeah, right. it's been good. It's been good. All the crazy fans coming out the woodworks in Wollongong and the rural <laughs> places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just hungry for a hip hop show. Eh? Yeah, they don't get it that much. So it's. Yeah, because because they, they don't get it as much. They you know they they enjoy it like um. They're passionate. So who's who's the biggest drinker on tour? Mm. Out of you four, it's all pretty uh, even ah. effort. It's pretty uniform. <laughs> all, 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 even though very supportive of each other. Like, yeah. yeah, it's just full blast, nonstop, all time. We're, we're each other's sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So is there like a? You think when you're on tour on the road, do you think it's like a nonstop thing, or you sort of chill out during the day and then start? late in the afternoon or is it just like you know you, you just take it one day at a time how you know I mean? <laughs> one drink at a time and, mate and we just do our best yeah yeah that's all the people ask for that's right <laughs> <laughs> and that's all they get if that <laughs> <laughs> now tell us tell us a story about uh, the most annoying fan that you've had in your illustrious <laughs> career of touring uh-huh. or most overexcited uh, most of them, man. <laughs> They're all pretty effed, man. <laughs> no, because because a Funko fan is a special breed of fan, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like they're die-hard fans, man. They're, they're badasses. They're but beautiful. I wouldn't wish them upon anyone, especially us, man. <laughs> but, yeah. so what, what's the wildest thing you've seen, like while you're on stage, Shit. like in the crowd? Usually fight. It's usually a fight, <laughs> man. It's usually fights. Like dudes throwing their shoes at us and yeah. shit like that. Seen people get bottled a bit. And, <laughs> and you never really know what to do. Like, you know, do you stop do you the stop, track? Yeah. Do you keep going? And and this guy's getting beat. He's heading on the ground. And I'm halfway through my verse, you know. And you're like, thinking like, oh. What, what's the ethical decision one must make when you're halfway through your verse, you know? <laughs> what would Jesus do? Huh? What would Jesus do? <laughs> well, he wouldn't be rapping for starters, I tell you that. <laughs> no. Now, 
Charles, you show me some footage yes. on the camera. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad this is a radio station, not yeah. a TV station. <laughs> that footage will come to light soon enough. <laughs> so what, what's, the, what's the wildest thing that you've seen backstage? Oh, it could be man. at your show or someone else's show. Um... When we talk, when we played um well, the thing that the last thing that stands out when we played um the lair this MTV show they got going on <laughs> oh, that was the host of it thought it would be a sick idea I don't know why to impress us to just get, get naked and just tuck the wham and parade himself <laughs> around like a lady Madonna and shit which was pretty cool man so uh, that was the first man John I ever seen <laughs> yeah 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 true, true, and won't really? be the, and won't be the last either <laughs> <laughs> yeah the tour's just started right yeah, yeah, well, yeah, no yeah. no as soon as I got back to the hotel guess what I was doing in front of the mirror, man <laughs> hey fellas is this how it went <laughs> check man jeezy man and if you do it right and you're correct enough you get the kangaroo tail shit popping off as well which is <laughs> <laughs> the cool shit man <laughs> so did you, when he came out like did you actually laugh or did you sort of like I think look I, at each other like the, I think I shit myself a little bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit of weed came out <laughs> of him <laughs>